Enter to win. That's right. We've had such great response from these videos that we want to make a winner out of as many people as we can. And starting today, and each and every video for a week, we're going to give away a free membership for one year to the Lake Superior Railroad Museum. Entitles you to free admission anytime you want to come, free rides on the North Shore Scenic Railroad, and a subscription to our very popular Junction Magazine, published four times annually. All you do is scroll down to the Enter portion of this video, and you can put your name in, and every day we'll have a brand new winner to announce for a year's membership in the Lake Superior Railroad Museum. Now, one of the things you'll see is this engine right here. But it wasn't always here. In fact, when the museum started, it looked kind of like this. A lot of track waiting to be filled with artifacts. And one of the first artifacts to join the collection was the 2435. This engine right here. Northern Pacific got 157 of these. They were called 262s. They were built in this particular case by the American Locomotive Company. This one from 1907. And as I said, they were used by the Northern Pacific Railway on their branch lines. They were a prairie style locomotive, a 262. And the reason they got that name was because they ran on areas like Montana and the Dakotas and Western Minnesota, where it was pretty much flat land, prairie style. The name stuck. This 2435 was one of the last ones to still run. It survived World War II because all of a sudden they needed more locomotive power to haul all the extra freight required for the war effort. One of the similar models of this was the 2459, and that one was loaned to the Duluth Union Depot here back in the day to switch out the passenger coaches and make up the passenger trains that would travel in and out of Duluth Union Depot. And it was worked by the Duluth Union Depot Transfer Company. Kind of interesting, and an acronym for the Union Depot was, of course, UD. Now in St. Paul, it was St. Paul Union Depot, and they called that SPUD. Here in Duluth, at the Duluth Union Depot, we got stuck with dud. Eventually, the steam era came to an end. And by the 1950s, locomotives like this were being scrapped left and right. The deadlines were full of these old steam engines. This one, however, survived. It was saved by the Northern Pacific Railway, who donated it to the city of Duluth, and they put it out at the Lake Superior Zoo on Grand Avenue. That was in 1954. In 1977, the museum is starting to form, and this would look better in a museum than at a zoo. So they convinced the 367th Engineer Battalion to help them move the engine across Grand Avenue, one piece of panel track at a time, until it hit live rail, and then they towed it down to the museum, where it sat, and it sat, and it sat some more. Then Tom Gannon, then curator, now curator emeritus and a member of our board of directors, wrote a legacy grant to the state of Minnesota and got funds for a cosmetic restoration of this locomotive. Working with our great crew of volunteers in our Leonard Draper shop building, they were able to completely cosmetically restore this engine. That included removing all the asbestos, putting on a brand new boiler jacket and cab to the locomotive, and then giving it a brand new paint job to look as you see it today one of the crown jewels in the collection of the Lake Superior Railroad Museum. A collection you'll get to see up close and personal if you're the lucky winner of a free one-year membership. Just scroll down to the comment section, leave us a kind word, or maybe share a train story with us, and then you're automatically entered to win a one-year membership. We'll be giving away a different one each and every day. Hopefully you'll be the lucky winner today. If not, try back tomorrow. All winners will be selected at random. In the meantime, you know what to do, just make sure you do it, and always take care of one another.